<laughs> Welcome to Sass Daily Podcast. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Harvey's Weekly Football Report. Got the last week of the NFL Week 18. How are you doing tonight, Harvey? I'm doing okay. How well did you uh, do in fantasy last week, Harvey? Uh, I could be six plays. And I probably should have changed a couple of players. And I didn't. <laughs> My kids has got 50 fancy points. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I hope that he hadn't been playing good, and here I was. I don't put him in there, and he gets 50, 50 points. And somebody, I think it was another two, I could have, but uh, that's yeah. I, I, I was, uh, well, it was a first year I've been in it, and it was a, I considered it a learning experience, and I, I, you know, I really liked it. I did. Yeah. How well did we do in uh, the NFL games last week? Well, not count the cancellation of the one game. We we both went eleven and four, which was pretty. That's pretty good. We're going eleven and four in the NFL. Definitely, and uh, these next uh, couple weeks, wild card, divisional round, AFC and NFC championship game and Super Bowl. We plan on having uh, different people on. And uh, Harvey, I got an idea. Uh, Harvey's weekly football report can technically go on during the uh, winter and spring. We can, yeah. If we pick the uh, XFL games, they got some good players. AJ McCarron's in it. Josh yeah. Gordon, former yeah. Brown wide receiver, Seahawks wide yeah. receiver is in it. Uh, there's a bunch of good players in the XFL, actually. Yeah. Well, uh, Washington uh, Taylor Heineke, he is a former XFL quarterback. So yeah, man, the X, there's talent in the XFL, and it's a uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be some fun football. That. Yeah, we'll definitely pick them. Uh, there might be a fancy league too. We might be able to play. There's, there's a bunch of quarterbacks I know in that league, man. AJ McCarron, like I said, is a starting quarterback in that league. Yeah, of course you know who AJ McCarron is Alabama legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can definitely pick them, but uh, yeah, during the eight, during all the playoff games, we're gonna have different people on hopefully and pick with us. And we'll try to pick with five. Uh, we'll talk about the. Uh... Actual championship in football, too. That's Monday night. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of that, what's our uh, record on the bowl game so far, uh, not counting the national championship? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I forgot if it was 41 or 42, but all I know is you beat me for three. So I can't beat you. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, <laughs> Harvey. we we'll get to the Sunday night games, the Sunday games. And uh, we got the 10 and 6 Ravens playing the 11 and 4 Cincinnati Bengals. 1 p.m. on CBS. Cincinnati's nine point favorites. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if Lamar's playing. Probably not. I say they'll hold him out and let him play in the playoff game. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with the Bengals. I'm going to go with the Bengals, too. Uh, Lamar Jackson is out. So, yeah, definitely go with the Bengals. All right. We got the Bucks, 8 and 8, playing the 6 and 10 Falcons. 1 p.m. on Fox, Atlanta's four-point favorites. Uh, I'd say Atlanta's the favorites because it's like Tom Brady and everybody's going to sit out. They already won the do, do you think? Do you think they will? Do you think they'll sit out? I know, I know they may. They, they probably it. They, should. Him about it. they probably should, too, because this is a, it's really a meaningless football game for them. I say they are sitting out because Atlanta's four-point favorites. So, uh, well, if they're sitting out, I won't pick the Falcons. I'll pick the Falcons, too. You picking the Falcons? Uh, okay. if I'm gonna go with the Falcons here. All okay. right, this is a uh, very important game for the Patriots. We got the eight and eight Patriots playing the twelve and three Bills. One p.m. on CBS. Buffalo seven and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with Buffalo. Who are you going with? I will go Buffalo. And speaking of Buffalo, uh, I think uh, we had some good news about that player who. Collapse on the field Monday night, you know, and I think they said he's talking and everything, so that's a pretty good sign. Good, definitely, man. That prayers bad, go out to his family and prayers go out to him. Yeah, I, I love the way those football teams come together and pray for that boy. I mean, that's, that's the, the the ball game itself didn't mean a thing. It was it was that guy's uh, health, health and everything. So I was pleased to see that see those teams do that. Two classy football coaches. And the Bengals coach and the Bills coach. Oh uh, yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. Prayers go out to uh, 
to him and his family, definitely. All right, we got the Vikings twelve and four playing the Bears three and thirteen. The Bears are playing without their uh, starting quarterback Justin Fields, and that's at one p.m. on Fox. Minnesota seven point favorites. I'm gonna go with the Vikings. Who you going with? I'm gonna go with the Vikings too. They, I don't really know if that's a. I don't think that's a big game for them. It, it, you know, I think their position's already filled. They're technically right? still fighting for the one seed, so that's a big game for them. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. That's true, too. Yep. All right. We got the Texans 2 13 and 1, <laughs> playing the Colts 4 11 and 1. This uh, game was the first game of the year for both teams, and they tied. And this at 1 p.m. on CBS, Indianapolis is two and a half point favors. I want to see what the percentage is on a tie on this one. They're giving a 0.2% chance of a tie. I'm going to go with the Texans. The Texans are playing hard. I'm going to go with the Texans, man. Okay, I'll pick the Colts, and I, I it would be something they end up in a tie in. Definitely. All right, we got the Jets seven and nine playing the Dolphins eight and eight. The Dolphins are playing with their third string quarterback. That's at one p.m. on Fox. Miami's three and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with Joe Flacco and the New York Jets. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the Dolphins. If, if, if Dolphins, the, the Patriots. If the Dolphins win, the Patriots lose. The, uh, the Dolphins are in, and the Patriots win, they're on the mat. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know how the Buffalo is going to do. I'm gonna go with, uh, uh, but, but if all three, it's, it's, but if the Dolphins lose, the Steelers lose, and the uh, Patriots lose all three, Patriots still gets the number one. Gets the number seven seed. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 It's, 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 it, it, these games is gonna be. They gonna be a lot of watching. Uh, these teams are going to be able to doing a lot of TV watching. Browns and the Steelers is a big game. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, I'll pick the Dolphins. All right. We got the Panthers six and ten traveling to the seven and nine Saints. One p.m. on Fox. New Orleans three and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with the Saints. Who you going? With? I'm going to go with the Saints too. Yeah. All right. We got the Browns seven and nine playing the Steelers eight and eight. One p.m. on CBS. Two and a half point favorites. Some people were saying the Browns have nothing to play for. We do have something to play for, keeping our rivals out of the playoffs, and uh, that means something. So I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns. So uh, We kept Washington out of the playoffs. We uh, destroyed Washington's uh, hopes of making the playoffs. I think we'll destroy Pittsburgh's hopes of making the playoffs. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'm going to go with the Browns. I, I, I think they'll, they'll do their best trying to knock the seniors out. Mm-hmm. Deshaun Watson – uh, looked like himself in the second half yeah. of last week's game, throwing for three touchdowns. I think he's got it back now, man. Yeah. He's got the rust uh, going. I think the rust is gone, so, yeah. All right, we got the 10-6 and six Chargers traveling to the 4-12 and 12 Broncos, 4.25 p.m. on CBS. Denver is three-point favorites. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Who are you going with, Harvey? I'm going to go with the Chargers, too. All right, we got the Giants nine six and one playing the Eagles thirteen and three four twenty five p.m. on CBS. Philadelphia six sixteen point favorites. Uh, Philadelphia's quarterbacks back. I'm gonna go with the Eagles, and they're going. I'm gonna them. go with the Eagles. They they if they win, if they lose to Dallas, wins. Dallas gets the number one. Uh, and and uh, not and, Dallas, not Dallas. Do they? Oh, yeah. Dallas, Dallas wins that division if they be if they win in uh wow. Wow. That's that's awesome. I'm pretty that, sure. That might be. That might be. Yeah. All right. We got the four and twelve. I think you're right about that though. Yeah. All right. We got the four and twelve Cardinals traveling to the twelve and four forty nine ers, four twenty five PM on Fox. San Francisco's four point five fourteen point favorites. This is actually JJ Watts uh, last game. He's retiring after this game, so uh, definitely respects to him. But I'm going to go with the 49ers. He's going with her. Uh, J.J. Watts was really one of the classiest football players I've ever watched. He's real good. I'm going to pick the 49ers, so hats off to him. Yeah. All right, we got Baker Mayfield and the L.A. Rams, 5-11. and 11, Traveling to the Seahawks, 8-8, eight and eight, 425 p.m. on Fox. Seattle, 6-point favorites. I'm going to go with Baker Mayfield and the L.A. Rams. He's going with 
I'm going to pick the Seahawks. That, uh, Seahawks are not out of it yet. You know, they're, they're right on the verge. So that's a big game for Seahawks, too. You know, that, you know the Rams will keep their rival out of the playoffs. That's, well, that's, what, that's what I know. So, uh, and Baker Mayfield's playing good football. So, I'm going to go with the Rams, yeah. definitely. All right, we got the Cowboys 12 and 4, traveling to the Washington Commanders 7, 8, and 1, 425 p.m. on Fox. Dallas is seven point favorites. Uh, this is the, uh, Fox said, this is the America's game of the week. It'll be uh, prime time on Fox. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Who you going? I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Yeah. Yep. In my opinion, this is uh, the second. Uh, Biggest game of the week. The first biggest game was tonight between the Titans and the Jags. This is the biggest game tomorrow, definitely. Uh, we got the Lions, 8-8, eight and eight, traveling to the Packers, 8-8, eight 8-20 eight, eight p.m. on NBC. Green Bay's five-point favors. Green Bay wins. They're in. I'm going to go with the Packers. They're getting that seven seed. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, you pick the Packers. Uh, uh, Green Bay wins. They're in. Well, does the Lions win? They in. No, uh, they got a win, and the Seahawks have to Seattle win. Yeah, got to win. Yep. So, uh, but the but the Packers automatically win. It don't matter what Seattle. Does. Nope, because uh, Packers have the, the uh, they uh, the tiebreaker is for them two teams is the uh, record conference record, and the Packers have the better <laughs> NFC record than the Seahawks do. I was, uh, I, I'm kind of rooting for the Lions. I really do. I'm kind of rooting for the Lions. You know, you know Jerry Goff and them. But yeah, they played pretty good. So, they still hot. I'm, I'm going to pick Detroit to beat the uh, Packers. I think Detroit might beat the Packers and the, and the Rams will beat the Seahawks and the Lions will get in. Why'd Why you pick the Seahawks? <laughs> <laughs> You pick the Seahawks. I, I still pick Seahawks. I don't think they'll win. I still, even though I, even though I'm saying that, I still think Seahawks will win. Though, you know. So you know, we'll see how it works out. Yep, and we'll uh, we'll have some people on uh, next week. I don't know who we'll have on picking, but we'll try to get somebody on definitely. Yeah. All right. The. We see what happens tomorrow, but all right. Then now you want to talk about the national football? I mean, uh, college championship game between Georgia and TCU. I don't think anybody thought TCU would be there, but they are. Yeah, I I personally a of, didn't. A lot of people said I mean, I, I, there's a whole lot of thought they went, they should have been a top four, but they I think they they proved them wrong. But I, but can they do it again? No, is, I, uh, Georgia's too good. I, I just think Georgia's defense is just, is, is just playing too well. And Georgia had a tough game. But Georgia had a tough time to beat the Ohio State. I mean, that was a good game. They had to really play, and their defense just dug in. So I, I'm. That's why I'm, I mean, you will pick this game. I will pick Georgia to win it all. I'm going with Georgia too. Yeah, because I well, think let's do it right. What, Let me get on there. Let's let's do it right. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna pick this game. Yeah. All right, man. We got the uh national championship Monday night, number three TCU thirteen and one playing number one Georgia fourteen and oh seven thirty PM on ESPN. It's a national championship game. Georgia's 12 and a half point favorites. I'm going to go with Georgia. Who are you going with, Harvey? Well, automatic, man. I was for Georgia. I, I, I said Georgia would win it all from the start go from the season. I, and I would pick Georgia, and I ain't going to – I'm not going to stop uh, changing my mind. Because when they started that there, they started that this year. I said, watch them. I said, uh, their defense may not be good right starting out. I knew they had their – I knew their offense was going to be pretty good. But but week by week by week, their defense started to get stronger, stronger, stronger. And they're like a – what do they call it? A machine? Yeah. Uh, they're – I mean, they're just – they got a good coach, too. And, they, I mean, they're I, – they're, I think they're just 12-point favorites, you know. That's pretty good. Uh, but – if TCU, if TCU somehow pulls it off, my hat's off to them. And I, I mean, I would, don't matter, you know, it would be something to see. 
either way, I'll be satisfied who wins this game. Yeah. I really uh, will. Either if TCU wins, I bet. I mean, I would be proud of TCU, but I just think Georgia is just too strong. So adding that within our college football. Yep. And we're about done with the NFL. But uh we yeah. do have some uh we do we can do pick senior bowls and stuff if you want to later oh, on. Yeah. yeah. We may try to do XFL, you know, we're gonna try to get see what kind of teams they got just pick it starts the uh February the eighteenth. Okay. And I'll tell you uh teams rosters right now. Well, we'll do it. We'll, yeah, At least we'll they're quarterbacks. It. At least they're quarterbacks. Yeah. Bob Stoops yeah. coaches the Arlington Renegades. Yeah. Uh, okay, I was going to say that. They'll be a te- – in other words, I, there's two Arlington. <laughs> uh, Arlington, Texas, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, we hope we get somebody to pick some of these – Playoffs, probably what was the playoffs start next Saturday in the NFL? Did it start next Saturday? Yeah. This coming Saturday, well, okay. Be interesting, you know. As of right now, we, I, 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 I'd say, if as of right now, I'm looking at maybe the Ravens and the Jags, maybe one game, but maybe, yeah. That's a good possibility. That, that could be a, I'm, I'm seeing that matchup, the Jags and the <laughs> Ravens. Well, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't be the Jags. Yeah, it wouldn't be the Jags and the Ravens. Yeah. I'm seeing that matchup right now. As I, you know, maybe we're wrong, you know. I think we'll see the Bucks and the Cowboys as well. I see the Cowboys and the Bucks too. It's going to either, well, one thing for sure, it's either going to be the Cowboys and the Bucks or Philadelphia and the Bucks. I yeah. think if you're Tampa Bay, you definitely would rather see uh, Dallas. Yeah. Especially, did you see what Jacksonville did to Dallas, man? <laughs> Their defense played great against Dallas. Yeah. Now, Dallas can put the points up, but Dallas is played pretty good, though. They are, but we're going to go with who's the hottest team, though. Uh, I tell you what, Kansas City looked good tonight. Yeah. But Tampa Bay has been playing a little bit better. Tampa, they never can. I don't care what anybody says. The Tom Brady's quarterback, and you know, if he was coaching quarterback in my team, I got to change. <laughs> Most definitely got to change the win. A real good chance to win. Definitely. And if they can get healthy, that they're no, they're not going to be no pushover. They're starting to play good. If, if, if they get their players, some of their players are starting to play better. So yeah, they're they're old saying they're probably playing good at the right time. Definitely. Well. Appreciate you being on, Harvey. Appreciate everybody out there listening. Y'all have a good night and God bless. God bless.